Hey y'all, today I'll be making Salisbury steaks, mashed potatoes, and gravy noodles. If you like cooking videos, then just keep on watching. Here I'm just showing you some of the ingredients I have. I will get in a little bit more in depth with what I'm using the further we get in the video. Here I am going to be cutting up two onions. I honestly pretty much only use like one small onion. Um, I would prefer them to be minced and cut a little bit smaller, but for the sake of the video, I just cut them a little bit bigger. Usually I'd use a food processor or a mincer um, to cut up my onion very fine. So I would just go with one small onion. Uh, we love onions in this house, clearly, but I don't use all of them as you can see. Here I'm adding in garlic, some salt and pepper, onion powder, as well as some garlic salt. I'm adding two eggs and some breadcrumbs. I end up adding some more breadcrumbs in a third egg. I would say I use a little over a cup of breadcrumbs. I would would have preferred to probably honestly use a little bit more breadcrumbs, but it's all personal preference. Um, I also used beef, veal, pork, beef, meatloaf mix, and then just a pound of beef. And it was about three pounds in all. Here I am just making some little patties. And this is pretty much just like meatloaf, but I call them Salisbury steaks. Um, they're just quicker and they cook quicker. Um, here I'm just searing them a little bit. I left out the second clip of me cooking up and putting the rest in the pan just to save some time. Here I'm just pretty much checking them and making sure they're good and seared on both sides. I like these Salisbury steaks. They're so quick and they're easy and they're super good. Um, and they don't take long at all to make. That's why I like making them this way instead of a whole meatloaf, especially if I'm in a hurry. Here I'm just gonna be adding the last three. So in all with this three pounds of meat, I got about six patties out of it. These are a really good sized patty I'd say they're about like you know half pound each so they're really decent sizes and if you would do quarter pounds for smaller portions you would probably get double the amount so maybe 12 so this recipe kind of um, feeds a good bit of people right here I'm just using beef onion soup mix from Lipton I'm adding a little bit more water um, I don't usually follow the water ratio in the back of the box I just do what I think's you know best for whatever recipe I'm using it for. And here I'm just adding in cornstarch mix. I decided to add a little bit more cornstarch in because it wasn't thickening to what I wanted it to thicken to. Here I'm just adjusting my angle so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Bear with me. I do have another YouTube channel. It's for my aesthetics and everything, but cooking's a little bit different of a setup. So just bear with me with the angles I'm sure I'll get better in time and there I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit more onion powder here I'm just placing the gravy over them I did about six scoops one for each patty then plus two more just filled up I have set my oven for 350 and I'm going to cook these for about 30 minutes while those bake I'm going to start on peeling potatoes and I already peeled the potatoes and cut them and started boiling them um, here I'm just straining them. I already was boiling the potatoes honestly and then I decided to make a video so that's why I didn't see me peeling them. I use about six large russet potatoes. Here I'm just adding them to my KitchenAid stand mixer. I add a whole stick of butter and I did separate it into little pieces just so it melts a little bit easier. You can also just soften your butter, I usually do, but for time's sake, I just cut it up smaller and threw it in there because I knew the potatoes were still hot, so it'd melt it. Um, I put about three fourths cup of milk in my measuring cup um, and I usually just eyeball it. It just depends on the thickness and the creaminess I want my potatoes. It's all personal preference, even with the butter. Here I'm just adding some hot water 
to the pot and I'm going to boil some of my extra wide noodles. You can use whatever noodles you want. You don't even have to use noodles. I was really contemplating on using noodles for this recipe, but they're good with or without gravy noodles. So here's the final result, the mashed potatoes. And I used to use my extra gravy. That's why I make a big batch like I do. And I mix my noodles in and then just top it on my potatoes. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys try making this. It's super delicious. Let me know in the comments how it goes. Thanks, bye.